Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well and I hope the summer is treating you nicely so far and that you're staying nice and cool. Today I have a Yuzen unboxing to share with you and if you haven't seen any of my previous Yuzen unboxings, I will try to link the most recent one down below, but it is a seasonal subscription so it comes once every three months. So it's always exciting to see what we have because it's not like something that you see every month like Ipsy or Birchbox or something like that. Um, this is more of like a lifestyle kind of health, wellness as well well as beauty so it's kind of like an all-around box which I think is really nice as well they also have a gift option that you could do just a one-time purchase so you want to give it as a gift to someone or a gift for yourself even just to try out you can do that so this is the summer box that I have to open with you um, I do want to mention that you can see the box has changed quite a bit they used to come in boxes like this and this box would be in another box and that would ship to you but to be more eco-conscious they have decided to just switch to one box so this is what the box will look like when you get it in your mailbox and then when you open it up you have your products inside and it's still really packaged just quite beautifully um, as always which is really nice um, it even has the little cherry blossoms on the top so like I said this is the summer box so of course you get the card with the list of the products as well as a little reason as to why they chose to include it in here which I think is nice to kind of get an insight on you know the, the, the creators of the box and the creators of the company and just to see like products that they themselves are loving um, and then you get this really nice kind of like like Japanese kind of decorative little paper here that you can definitely reuse you can use it as a bookmark I might even save that and like put it in my planner somehow it's really pretty tissue paper and then inside you have some packing peanuts and then the products and the products are always packaged in a really nice organza bag, which I always save and reuse. It's great for like giving um, someone a gift or something like that. So the first thing in here, I, I think this is the one that I smell the most. This is um, from Aroma Floria, Aromatherapy Muscle Soak Ocean Mineral Bath Salts. And this is in the scent Eucalyptus, Peppermint, and Lemongrass. So I can definitely smell the eucalyptus and the peppermint. It just has kind of like that clarifying scent to it, really cooling and kind of relaxing and then there's also lemongrass in here that gives it kind of like that like burst of like citrusy like freshness as well um and it says that it soothes paint soothes sprains and aching joints there is also a shower gel i believe yeah a shower gel from hugo naturals and we've gotten soap from this company before this is the vanilla and sweet orange scent and let's give this a sniff and it's nice it's kind of like a sweet citrus the vanilla adds just a little bit of like creaminess as well it's not super duper fragrant so if you're kind of sensitive to fragrances maybe check that out and it says that it's natural so that's probably why it's not like super duper like in your face kind of scent um and then we have a sample in here from jerlique and this is their purely age defying with active firm complex this is firming and tightening serum and then a favorite thing of mine to get is nail polish and they feature spa ritual a lot um, and I'm always happy to see a new spa ritual um, like mini nail polish it's kind of like my collection of mini spa rituals um, nail polishes is growing which is really nice this is in the shade strike a pose and it's a really nice kind of cream like mid-tone pink color then we have from Shea Moisture this is the Zanzibar Marine Complex Replenish and Rejuvenate Hand Cream with Black Pearl Protein and Sea Buckthorn Oil um, Skin Renewal Recipe. And this is a huge tube of it. That's a big hand cream. Um, so I will definitely get use out of that. My hands have been a little bit drier because of like the weather change and stuff like that. So I'm sure it won't be long before I break into that bad boy. Um, next, this is something that we have seen in the past. Um, this is from Aromaflage, and this is kind of, this is really neat. When I first saw this in a previous use box, I was like, I've never heard of something like that. And this will actually come in really handy because summer months, the heat and stuff bring about a lot of bugs, mosquitoes being one of them. And this is an insect repellent perfume, which is really cool. Actually, let's give this a sniff. I can't remember if this was the same scent that we got last time. It came in a different package. This is like a little spray, which I don't mind getting it again because I thought it was such a unique product. Um, and I think, again, it's perfect for this time of the year. It says that it repels mosquitoes that may carry dengue, chikungunya, and yellow fever. Botanical oils free of DEET, chemicals, and parabens. A wild blend of cardamom, cedarwood, and spruce. Um, the scent of it is okay, to be honest with you, there's something in it, and I can't quite put my finger on it. 
that I just don't like and I don't it has kind of like a sour scent not sour as in like citrusy lemon it just has like a sour note to it we'll give it a try we'll see how it kind of smells like as I have it on but um, I just, like I said I think the idea of it is really cool and if you are looking for something kind of different to repel bugs check it out next we have a food item which is always exciting I love when we get food or candy in here I'm actually gonna open this up now and give it a taste but this is from Tori and Howard these are organic hard candy um, and this is in the flavor Meyer lemon and raspberry Okay, so they're all like individually wrapped. I was expecting if you, I don't know if you guys remember these. I know you can get them at World Market. They come in like little tins like this, except they're a lot smaller. And inside there's like hard candies that are shaped like fruit. That's what I was expecting it to be like, but these are actually like individually wrapped. So it looks like this. Okay, so it is a mix of lemon and raspberry, but I think it's a good combination. It's tart, but not too tart. And it has like a nice kind of like natural sweetness to it. Alright, so I took the candy out of my mouth because I realized I still have the rest of the video to film and I don't want to have a piece of candy rolling around my mouth, so I will eat that later. Um, the next thing I have in here is, I, I've seen this before, this came in a Beauty Box 5, I think it was, and this is from Lasting Smiles Organic Lip Balm. Use your lips, smile for a cause. Every purchase supports cleft lip and palate surgeries, and this is in the flavor... Peppermint cream. I think the last one I got was like mango or something like that. I'm not going to open this because I've mentioned before I'm not a huge fan of like stick lip balms. I might give this to Blake though because he doesn't mind them. But I think that that's nice. I love that that company supports a good cause as well. So I think that that's really cool. Alright, so the last product I have in here besides some coupons and pamphlets is from Suntegrity. This is a 5-in-1 natural moisturizing face sunscreen and it's tinted. It's broad spectrum SPF of 30 and again Perfect for this time of year, you're going to be outside, you need some SPF, although you need it all year round, but especially now, I think most people are spending a lot more time outside, it's good to protect your skin, I like that that's, that has a little bit of a tint to it as well. So those are all the things that were inside the Yuzen Summer Box, as always, thank you so, so much for watching, I will see you guys in my next video, bye!